A new housing project is underway to house dozens of families displaced by the Maui wildfires. State and county leaders say it's especially helpful because it's in Kapalua on the west side, closer to work for residents. Our Maui Bureau Chief, Ali Iduklo, gives us a first look inside. You can see the first unit right behind me. The goal is to have 50 of them on this four acre lot that used to be a golf course. This is also the first privately funded effort to house fire survivors. A ceremony Monday morning to bless the Kapalua Village Temporary Housing Support Project. The transitional housing community is meant for Kapalua Resort Gulf employees impacted by the August tragedy. The views, the openness, uh, the proximity to their work, uh, I think there'll be lots of advantages. Here's what the inside of the fully furnished units will look like with a mix of two, three and four bedroom modular homes. The houses will also be outfitted with appliances and bathrooms using existing water and sewer systems. County planning staff expediting the permitting process under a department Mayor Richard Bisson acknowledges is strained because of the need for more housing projects for fire survivors. Um, you know, we're understaffed to begin with, um, and we're going to have our expedited permitting department as part of Office of Recovery. I'm told each of the units cost about $80,000 each, all fully funded by TY Management Corporation, a Japanese company that owns two golf courses in Kapalua. Governor Josh Green is trying to secure 200 more units to house fire survivors, reporting he'll be in Japan in a few weeks to broker the deal. We have heard there's a potential for as many as a thousand units like this. So the more we can do, the better all across, not even just Maui, but where other uh, shortage of housing areas are. Residents are expected to move into these units by the summer. In Kapalua, Aali Iduklo Island News.